distracting yourself from urges. Although it may be difficult at first, especially during the intense urge, distracting yourself is one of the best ways to get through an urge. When you're actively doing something, you're thinking about that and not the urge itself. The more you refuse to give in to the urge, the less frequent they occur and the more quickly they pass. They also will become less intense. So see figure 4.5 in the Smart Recovery Handbook for examples of activities you can use to distract yourself from urges. And I'm going to share them right now. Identifying distractions. So chores to do. So clean, cook, wash dishes, iron your clothes, gardening, do laundry, exercise. So you go walk, run, bike, swim, yoga, Pilates, ski, do weights, play some games. So computer games, board games, cards, chess, puzzles, or darts, or whatever you enjoy. Do some art. So draw, paint, write, do photography, do some sculpturing, do some crafts, knit a sweater, embroider, do some leather work, maybe create a scrapbook or woodwork, whatever you enjoy. Martial arts, Aikido, Judo, Karate, Tai Chi, Taekwondo, or Jiu Jitsu. Outdoor activities, bird watch, go for a walk, go for a hike, do some dancing, performing arts or music, go start singing, maybe watch a play or do a play, practice your music, maybe if you want to take up miming or dance, whatever you choose to do. Personal growth, start to read, attending a meeting, maybe career development. Read and listen. Maybe a fiction book, nonfiction, maybe a musical performance. Social activities. Invite a friend out. Maybe attend a meetup or a group or a club. Spectator things. Go to the movies. Maybe live theater. Watch some TV. Maybe some old movies. Maybe team sports you want to do. Maybe table tennis or hockey or soccer or softball. Or maybe kickball. Maybe academics you're really interested in. Do some art, some history, some language, some math, some science. Maybe humanity. Whatever your choice is. Maybe trades or crafts. Maybe you start painting. Maybe you start building some really great stuff. Maybe work on your car. Tinker in your garage. Maybe you want to vent your feelings. Maybe you want to talk with somebody. Maybe you want to journal, maybe draw, maybe you want to just cry in a pillow, maybe throw eggs on the ground, whatever it may be. How about volunteering? Maybe a soup kitchen, hospice, a church, maybe coach your kids sports or volunteer for smart recovery. Consider using the weekly planner on figure 4.6 from the smart recovery handbook to document your interests and activities. Plan activities for times when you know you may get an urge. Check your urge log or trigger worksheet for times when urges tend to strike. And I wanted to share some of my weekly planner. I first thing in the morning, every single day I do my meditation. And then I go for a walk. Then I read a book. Then I talk to my spouse, means my wife. And then again in the afternoon, I go in for another walk. Then I come home and I cook dinner. On certain days, I volunteer for Smart Recovery. Then after that, I go for another walk and then I write down all my thoughts and feelings in a journal. Whatever your weekly planner looks like, create it so then you can follow it. It may help you.